Coach John here, and this video I'm going to cover two very common mistakes that I see all the time that people make when training their biceps. Before going any further, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I greatly appreciate it. So one of the proposed mechanisms for increasing muscle size or muscle hypertrophy is time under tension which essentially means the muscle has to be under tension for a certain amount of time to stimulate growth. So with that being said, let's get into mistake number one. The first mistake I see people make all the time is they do their curls like this. So essentially at the top of the curl, they bring their upper arm forward. So now there's no tension on my bicep muscle. The weight is essentially going through my forearm. My biceps muscle is not doing any work. We want it to be doing work the whole time. So get your arm back, keep it back, and don't move it forward. So the proper way to do this would be like this. No movement in the upper arm. Incorrect would be coming up like this. Now, the reason people usually come up like this is because the weight is too heavy. They are swinging the weight up and then they get it up here and that's the only way they can do it properly. So drop the weight and do it correctly and you will likely get more biceps growth if you do that. The other common mistake I see is when individuals are doing concentration curls. The point of a concentration curl is to ensure that there's no momentum involved in the movement and you are doing a strict curl. Now, when I was doing the standing curl, I could do a concentration curl as well, essentially, because I'm not moving my upper arm. So really the concentration curl's purpose is to ensure that you're not moving your upper arm and you're not using momentum. So the common mistake I see people here make is they will come up like this and the weight's getting heavy. So then they have to go like this to get it up the rest of the way. Well, if it's too heavy to do it properly, use a lighter weight and do it like this. My upper arm is not moving at all. And now my bicep muscle is under tension the whole time. As soon as I do this, some of the tension is removed. Now the bicep muscle is not under tension, it's soft. So if you make those two small adjustments, you will increase the time under tension for your biceps muscle, which could potentially lead to an increase in muscle size because your biceps have to adapt to that additional time under tension. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please drop a comment below. Please like this video. And as I mentioned before, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.